How's it going, everybody? It's uh, it seems to be it seems to be January twentieth, twenty twenty four. I mean, I could be wrong. You know, I I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm exhausted, but it's beginning. We are just starting to get some weather out of this. It kept changing. The for it, it's. It's, it kept changing, saying that it wasn't going to start at 2 or 3 in the morning, and then it was, and then it wasn't. Well, we're getting some drizzle right now. It's 1.02 in the morning on January 20th in beautiful Big Bear, California. And yeah, it looks like we're going to get maybe an hour of this light precipitation right now, and then after that couple hours break and then maybe at about I don't know five or six I'll be out recording the snow <clears throat> so yeah, I got a long day ahead of me here or a long few days actually but you know what again this, this makes me happy I enjoy doing this and I know a lot of you enjoy it as well so it's a win-win situation here tell you the temperature in a couple minutes because right when I get into my car the temperature readings always a lot higher than it actually is so I I usually give it about 10 minutes just so I know I can get a, a good legitimate reading out of my vehicle here oh now it's pouring oh my gosh look at that out of nowhere Hope everyone's doing well. I'm sure most people are going to be asleep for this video. But, uh, yeah, I'm out here doing what I do. This is, I just love doing this. I have quite the passion for this. So, anyway, if you think I have a good passion for this, like and subscribe. Help me out. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to get some cool merchandise to support the channel, and it's top quality stuff too, you guys. It's not that 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 cheap, ridiculous stuff. I have pride in this channel, a lot of pride in this channel, and I want to make sure that if people are going to represent and uh, follow the brand and wear the brand, I want you to wear it with pride. I don't want you to be disappointed. So got good stuff for you guys everything from puffer jackets hoodies cool designs on shirts um, coffee mugs candles we have got it all I'm gonna turn right here on Lakeview just cruise through some of the neighborhood streets right now yeah as usual when we have a storm in the area I'm always just sitting there staring out the darn window, just hoping that I'll see something happen. And finally, I saw a couple drops of precipitation come down, so that's good. We do need it to cool off though, I'll tell you that much. It definitely needs to cool off because uh, this is rain. This is rain. And this time of year, we don't like rain. The only reason rain is good for us is because it helps our lake. But for the big scheme of things, for the tourism and for the, you know, the skiing, which is tourism up here, we need Mother Nature to hook us up with some snow and a good amount of snow. My prediction still stands for this whole entire storm, which is gonna last through very, very early morning on Tuesday maybe end at four or five or six in the morning um, I'm, I'm gonna stick to the two inch mark a lot of you are, are, are very optimistic about it saying maybe four or five inches and you know what I sure as heck hope that I'm wrong I hope that I'm wrong oh whoa 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 we get some snow now yeah boy and it's 40 degrees Look here, look here. So yep, we're getting some snow mixed in with the rain right now. That's pretty darn awesome. 
have to say, folks, I did not expect to see that. I did not expect to see that. Don't forget, those of you coming up this weekend, please make sure you have tire chains with you. Um, even if you're a fantastic driver in these types of conditions, obviously right now it's fine, but in a little bit worse conditions, just please play it safe. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I don't want to hear about it any of you getting hurt unfortunately I've had to hear quite a few of those stories since I've been doing this for nine nine years and it it breaks my heart a lot it really does we've had some serious stuff happen to some some people who like to watch watch this channel so just please please make sure you make your safety a priority let me do all this crazy driving for you and then uh, as I always say if you have any questions about anything do not hesitate to ask I will always be here I love to do this I love to put myself in harm's way in a very calculated manner though I mean I hate to say it, but I'm out here in every single storm for nine years. Something's bound to happen to me. Like, and I hate even talking like that, but I'm just being realistic. And when I think like that, it gives me a little more of a healthy fear. So I don't, you know, get super complacent and then, you know, allow myself to do something stupid out here temperature jumped back up to 41 degrees since we did see a couple snowflakes we are going to kind of head over towards towards the dam depending on what it's like over there we might do the lake loop but again remember I'm going to be doing this uh, a much longer video as soon as it really starts snowing but this could be really start snowing in a couple minutes so we'll see but I'm not anticipating any decent amount of snow till like five or six in the morning but uh, the weather up here is so finicky you just never know and I'm not gonna miss it for anything we're on a street called Edgemore and we're about to get to the boulevard then we're gonna make a right-hand turn steady rain or I mean steady really light rain drizzle and I, I think I just saw a couple more snowflakes
it's called. Something Landing, if I remember correctly. What is this street called? Let me ask, uh, what street am I on? feeling when you're in your car up here trying to make it up a hill I haven't experienced it yet thankfully but um, I've experienced it in my time sliding backwards on the ice and snow uh, it's completely out of control not a fun feeling again bring your tire chains please I know a lot of you can drive just incredibly in these conditions but just to have that extra safety measure just in case, it might be worth it. It might be worth it. Okay, we're on uh, Waterview. And the lake is here to the right beyond these houses, but obviously it's nighttime, so you can't really see it. Can't really see it. We're just gonna cruise. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some more snowflakes at 41 degrees. When I lived in Denver, Colorado f for two years, we would, I mean, it would snow often at 40, 41 degrees, 42 degrees, because that atmosphere is so unstable out there and the different layers of the atmosphere are just so many different temperatures. It, literally maybe a, a couple hundred feet up, it, it would have been a heck of a lot. Where am I going? Oh, huh, this is someone's driveway. <laughs> All right, so we gotta turn around here. In my rear view mirror, you can see it raining and snowing a little bit. Or my rear view camera. Um, yeah, as I was saying, in Denver, that would happen often. But as I was saying, because a couple hundred feet up, if that, there was a really cold layer, a really cold layer, a lot colder than it was at the surface. And since it was so close to the surface, when that snow came through that layer and then hit hit this short little period of, of warmer air down here at the surface, didn't have enough time to melt and we'd get some gigantic snowflakes if, uh, when it was like 40, 41, 42 degrees. So it's not out of the ordinary to see it snow like that. I recorded that here maybe, I don't know, at least, at least a dozen times. And people are always wondering, well, how's that possible because doesn't it have to be 32 degrees out there at least? And what I just explained is what seems to transpire. At least these are stories I've heard. If they're not true, then you know what? Then I lied unintentionally and I'm not trying to lie to anybody. These homes are great homes right here. Lake right on the other side big homes on the edge. I know someone who did a lot of work on that big house right there. Someday, I'll wish upon a star and have one of these beautiful homes. I think 
think we're on a street called Sienega, but I'm not sure. I'll let you know in just a moment. If not, I think this turns into Sienega. Okay, we're back down to 40 degrees. No, we are. Oh, water view still, water view. And since we've been gone, Snow Summit turned on their lights. Just in this 20 minutes that we've been gone. So we're still, still driving in the Boulder Bay neighborhood. I mean, I, I swear I thought, I thought this is Sienega. Tony, these drives are so much more fun and so much more beautiful when there's snow on the ground. Not at nighttime, though. Yeah, we are on Sienega right now. I knew it. And the fact that we've got zero traffic right now, I'm going to take you guys on one of my regular shortcuts. Again, please, please be extra cautious taking these shortcuts, especially when there's snow because you will have kids in the street sledding and stuff like that want to be super careful I get in a little bit of trouble with some of the locals for telling you guys some of these secrets but again I mean you guys pay my bills you guys allow me to have a job up here and if I can save you any time knowing you're going to be respectful of the situation um, I have, I have no problem helping you guys out. I can understand why they don't want me to help like that because then it just overcrowds some of our side streets. And I do sometimes have some mixed feelings about it, but then all I have to remind myself about is without you guys, none of us live here. And it's incumbent on me and other people up here to make sure that you have the best time possible, save as much time as possible so you can enjoy the sights, enjoy the adventures that you'll be going on up here. And when you're stuck in traffic for 45 minutes just to drive a mile and a half, um, that doesn't make anybody happy. So again, to my locals, it's, it's very few of them that say anything, but if I didn't think that you guys are the most respectful, kind, decent people, I wouldn't show you these side streets, but I'm going to again. So this will be a really easy, easy lesson on how to get from the village to Moon Ridge without touching Big Bear Boulevard, which we are on right now. I even have ways to, to avoid this whole area too. Look at this guy cruising on his motorcycle. A little, a little bit nuts, but I used to ride my street bike up here when there was a couple inches of snow on the ground just to get to work. No one accused me of being the brightest, uh, brightest person in the world, you know. Thankfully, I never, I never crashed. Knock on wood. Now that I have a vehicle that actually works, I don't need to ride a motorcycle during the snow. And hey, real 
real quick guys don't forget when you come up here to get your ski rental stuff go to get boards on big bear boulevard they've got a couple different stores on big bear boulevard one for snowboards one for skis if you mentioned that i sent you um, if you have your own equipment they'll wax your skis and snowboard free of charge they'll hook you guys up and uh, also if you buy your lift tickets i think 72 hours in advance at getboards.com you will get a discount it, it, it'll cost you less than when you go to the, the ticket window the day you want to go skiing so there you go save you a few bucks there and don't forget once again when you go in just mention that i or you don't have to say that i sent you but just mention the channel and uh tony and his amazing staff will definitely take care of you guys they're wonderful people over there people who care about you guys care about the tourists which is why i am proud as can be to represent them Oh, and something else about get boards that I didn't realize. Maybe other sh shops have it too, probably, but I never realized it until I just went in there to get my skis. They have ski and snowboard rental clothing, you guys. And it's like 25 bucks for the whole setup, so you don't have to go spend three, four, five hundred bucks on a decent outfit to keep you warm and go have fun. So consider that consider that because i know a lot of people get really frustrated when they come up here because they're spending so much money for stuff that they're not going to use that often so take advantage of it take advantage of it they have everything there and not just rental stuff stuff you can purchase i mean top top quality top quality gear and again if you mention me you know definitely definitely hook you up okay we just got through the village we're on village drive this is the beginning of the shortcut big bear boulevards down here to the left but we're gonna stay straight village drive turns into pennsylvania avenue the way you remember pennsylvania avenue is just think of the white house so you're going through on village drive and you're just not going to deviate at all you're just going to stay straight and village drive turns into pennsylvania avenue And you're gonna take Pennsylvania all the way till it um, comes to a T. You're not gonna be able to go straight. You can either go right or left when it comes to this T up here. You're gonna wanna go left. And the left, I believe, is called Jeffries. doing is avoiding Big Bear Boulevard assuming that there's a ton of traffic like there usually is when we have a snowstorm your first right hand turn is going to be Oak so as soon as you turn left on, on Jeffries make your first right on Oak there's a big football field here to the left during the daytime you can see it and you'll know that you made the right turn so Village Drive turns into Pennsylvania Avenue Stay straight on that until it comes to the T. Make a left on Jeffries and then your first right on Oak. And take this, and when you follow this, you'll come up to a few signs that say like, like uh, um, no outlet ahead or something like that. So you know you gotta turn left. It's got all these arrows pointing to the left. No through, what's that say? Not, not a through street. So naturally you're gonna to wanna to turn left here. And this street is called Eureka. You're only gonna be on this for about 100 to 150 yards. 
you're gonna follow this to the end and it's gonna curve to the right. Just stay on this, do not deviate. And when you turn to the right, the street name changes from Eureka to McWinnie, like McWinnie the Pooh. Eureka, we're on McWinnie the Pooh. <laughs> and then this is gonna come to another T, you guys. And you're gonna, you're gonna wanna make another left. This is Wren, W-R-E-N. So Ren and Stimpy. This is how I have to memorize things. I have to think of dumb stuff like that. So you're gonna turn left here on Ren because you can only make a left or a right, you can't go straight. And then your second street, not this first street, your second street is called Brownie Lane. And you're gonna turn right on Brownie Lane and stay on this all the way till you get to Moon Ridge Road. Straight ahead, that street up there where the stop sign is, you can barely see the stop sign, probably about 150 yards up. That's Big Bear Boulevard. You're just running parallel for the most part the whole way. And as I said, you are going to, you're going to avoid so much traffic and have a much better attitude, be in a much better mood. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are just the, the, the most monk, the monkiest of monks. This traffic will drive you crazy. But I get a lot of joy out of saving you guys time. Again, knowing you guys are gonna be super, super respectful on these side streets and not speed and keeping your eyes out open for everything. So right now we're passing Thrush. You don't really need to know these names that we're passing. All you need to know is, is once you're on Brownie Lane, you want to stay straight on Brownie Lane until you get to, to Moon Ridge Road. And on the left, Caddy Corner, when you get to Moon Ridge Road, will be Walgreens. So you know you've made it. And I just did see another snowflake. It was a gigantor. Stoplight right there is Big Bear Boulevard. But again, we're assuming there's bumper to bumper traffic there. The drive that we just did right now, you guys, I'm not lying to you when I say, in the midst of some of our worst traffic times, with snowstorms, people using Big Bear Boulevard like it's only one lane on each side because you can't see the lanes because there's snow. So they think there's only one lane each. There's so much traffic, it gets ridiculous. It'll take you from the village 45 minutes, in some cases, just to get over here to Moon Ridge. And then just from Moon Ridge to the grocery stores, another 10 or 15 minutes. It's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, you guys. So here we, here we are, we're coming up to Moon Ridge Road right now. Remember I was telling you Walgreens is Caddy Corner? Well, that's the Walgreens right there. And we're on Moon Ridge. So we're gonna do a quick little drive-by bear since it's right on the mountain right there. Typically the storms will be doing a little bit more on, on the mountain. And the closer you are to the mountain, the more precipitation is gonna be falling. I just wanna catch as much as I can out of this beginning part of the storm. And I'll bet you we'll hit the 30s when we get a little closer to bear. I'll, I'll, I'll guess we'll hit 39. How great is this? Just no one here. And I can, I mean, I'll eventually let you guys know about all these little side routes through here too because it can get really nasty through here too. Over the past nine years, I've showed you guys numerous times, but for all the all the newer folks, it's 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 important for me to 
keep on showing you guys. And I just really, truly beg some of the locals that get mad at me about it, please, please do not be mad at me. I'm, you know, I, I, I just want to help, help our friends here. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to bring your property value down. That's a comment that I've gotten before. Um, I'm like, gosh, God forbid that I ever had that type of an impact. Like that's, I'm trying to do the opposite up here. I'm trying to bring more and more people here, save them time. The more money they spend up here, the more valuable our town becomes and the more your property is gonna be worth. So just please understand, I love our town. I'm grateful that you locals have welcomed me here. I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade. doesn't get down to 39 then I'm just gonna have to keep climbing in elevation until it does <laughs> just so just so you know it looks like I'm smart it looks like I knew what was gonna happen obviously naturally the higher in elevation you go the colder it's gonna get so that's why I assume this couple hundred feet might be enough to click us down one degree it's still 40 Wow, what are all these cars parked here for? There must be some sort of a rager over here. It is the weekend. Those are houses right on the golf course, right across from Bear. Beautiful Bear Mountain. And again, for those of you who are fairly new, I usually drive the whole entire town. Like for most, most of these videos, I'll go from one end of town to the complete opposite so you guys can see what the conditions look on all sides of town because we usually get a decent amount of snow by this time of year. But that's why this year I've been staying mainly on the snowy side of town. I'm still doing a lot over there on Baldwin and Big Bear City side, but that's the reason. Because I, there's just almost no, no point. If I felt there were any safety issues over there, then I would be driving over there every video like I usually do for you guys. But I'm not being lazy, none of the above. I'm just... Uh, it just doesn't necessarily make sense to do it every video. Every storm, I'll still go over there. Just not as often. Maybe once or twice per storm, and then the aftermath video for sure. All right, it's, it's 40 degrees. I'm not, I'm not playing. And there's a snowflake. We just saw another snowflake. Another, oh, look, it's snowing. Look, look, a bunch of snowflakes coming down. Yay. Oh, that's so awesome. Bear Mountain, you are good luck. I knew to come up here. I knew it. And I think we're going to get lucky to hit 39 degrees as well. Because it's still 40. But yeah, this is great. This is wonderful. Look at that, guys. Look by the headlights. You can see... See the snowflakes coming down. Yes. 
yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's still 40 degrees. We're going to keep climbing a little bit. Oh, thank you, Mother Nature, for doing this. And it's all snow now. And some of these are really big, beautiful snowflakes. We're, we're pretty much in the upper Moon Ridge area. This is an extremely snowy part of town when we get storms. Good storms. I hope we come up to a street light so I can shine or point the camera at the street light so you can really see what seems to be happening right now. What's that happening? Hot stuff. You guys remember that from 16 or yeah, 16 candles? Or no. Was it 16 candles? I don't remember. Molly Ringwald and then uh gosh. What was the exchange student's name? Like ducting or uh anyway, never mind. I just sound like a total idiot right now. It's still 40 degrees, you gotta be kidding me. All right, gotta go uphill. Sorry, sorry folks. Again, we're just cruising through Upper Moon Ridge, trying to climb as high as I can, because I told you it was going to get to 39, and I will not be called a liar. Come on, baby. At the top of this little hill right here, please. Please. Aren't we close enough? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Either way, it's so beautiful. Just these light little cute snowflakes falling down. All right, this is Ridgecrest. I don't, yeah, we can't go right here. It dead ends right there. Oh, it's got some snowflakes in my face. In the face. Oh, it's happy times for me. All right, we're gonna keep climbing. We're just gonna go as high up as we can. starting to come down a little bit it's still a just a snow flurry out there but it's nice little snow flurries my weather radar was showing that it's there's light rain out there but how many times has the weather radar been wrong in the past or this season guys it's, it's been pretty awful right Just the temperature gauge just to say it's 39, but wow, we climbed like 500 feet or something from the point that I said 
we're gonna hit 39 and it still hasn't changed at all. I just can't believe it. excited they're out here because it's snowing I wish all of you could be here it really is such a peaceful feeling my weather radar it's saying it's 39 outside how dare it and then all that blue you see right there it just changed from green to blue but it was saying it was raining which it it was but it didn't say anything about snow to like four four or five in the morning but i had a feeling this would happen dang it we're back down in middle moon ridge some cold air just for Pete's sake just one more degree it's so beautiful oh it's so beautiful okay we're back on Moon Ridge Road now Still snow flurries, but it might be coming down the heaviest since we've been on the drive. So those of you who are still with me, who do you think is going to win the uh, Stan Strickland and uh, Drakus Duplissi fight tomorrow night? That's going to be a crazy fight. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe it, guys. Temperature went up. <laughs> and it's it's snowing pretty, like it's it's the heaviest it's been snowing on this, on this drive. I can't believe that. Look at that, look at the snow. We'll 
be able to see it in the lights on Moon Ridge Road, so that that should be pretty cool. But yeah, who do you think's gonna win that fight? I hope Sean Strickland wipes them out with Drakus, but I like Drakus as well. Alright, here we are at Moon Ridge, the corridor area. Getting a good, good view here. When we look up at, at these lights, it's quite unfortunate. Well, you guys, it started snowing. You guys got to enjoy a little bit with me. Of course, when it picks up at five, six in the morning or four, We'll be back out and doing a, a video in some, some some different areas. Still, we'll stick in the, the snowier part of town for right now. But uh, thanks for being here. If you uh, enjoy what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Help me out. Share the videos. Um, go to the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com shop. Buy some merchandise. Support the merch. Support the brand. And support the channel. Um, Getboards.com. And also on my website bigbearweathermore.com if you like those push to talk ski goggles they're the most bad arse goggles ever there's a link there with a code a discount code for you guys to get really hooked up on them and they are fantastic my eyes watering like crazy fantastic product i will never push a product that's not great and uh yeah in the meantime guys just hang tough enjoy the video and i will see you all in a few hours Peace out. I love you all and I'll talk to you later.